unique perspective on what it takes to be a six figure CEO. Now remember six figures can be just a hundred thousand, but I want you to have the potential to escalate that to 200, 300, even half a million, almost to a million dollar influence as the CEO, the founder, the person in charge of the business and the brand that you are building. As an entrepreneur and as a business owner, there are so many things that you can do. There's so many pieces of advice. These are the three things that I live by and I have been doing this for the past 14 years as a CEO of my company where I've been able to not only have really fantastic monumental success, but I'm able to reach more people, communicate with more people and have influence in a way that I never thought possible. So stay tuned because you are not going to want to miss out on these. Hi, my name is Desiree and I focus on helping you use online video to capture leads and convert them into sales. And part of what that means is that you need to be number one, using video as a way to leverage expertise, as a way to diversify your income and expand your reach. Way back in the day, when I was starting out in the social media marketing space, like back in 2009, 2010, I actually got some really great credibility by using the old fashioned video TV news. I actually became a social media expert and correspondent for a local TV station in my local area. And they would bring me on to talk about social networks and what was happening and why all of these people should care about what is going on. And ever since then, I have loved creating video content and communicating with my audience what they need to know to have success. A lot of what you're doing with your video is really giving away your expertise because you know how to do something. You have spent years, months, days, whatever it may be, cultivating a vision for something and it is going to impact other people. Now what's great about doing this with video is not only are you able to help people and reach people, but you're gonna be able to collect a community that you can convert into leads that will allow for you to diversify your income. I did a whole video that you can watch up here in the cards where I talk in detail about how I was able to take this video space, this box that I show up in and turn it into multiple streams of income that earned me almost $200,000 in one year. And I have done this for years and you can do that too. Being a six figure SEO means using the latest technology that people prefer to communicate in and finding a way to leverage it into multiple streams of income based on the community and the audience that you're building. Which is why our next point is that you need to be leveraging your impact and creating an influence. Now, I know this is very similar to what I talked about with using video to diversify your income. You really need to establish yourself as a credible go-to resource by having three ongoing things that you're always doing in your business. One, network working in real life, two, having a social media presence, and three, collaborating. So let me break down how I do each one of these things. Number one is networking. I love to talk to people. Even after my 14 years of business, I still am a part of a local networking group in my community in Michigan where I show up every week and we pass leads and we talk and we communicate and we learn and we build friendships together. I speak on stages around the world about this expertise that I have. I'm able to network and talk to people in different cities all over the country. And I love it. It is my favorite thing I get to do besides create videos on a regular basis for people where it allows me to really dive in and have personal relationships because those personal relationships are what's going to allow for me to help others and get more in the future. I cannot express to you that part of your daily activity needs to be spent doing outreach to new people that you can add to your network and reconnecting with old people as well. I do that as well. Now we're talking about social influence. We have to make sure that we're posting on social media that when we've connected with all these people with real life networking or doing things here on YouTube and other places, we have to make sure that we are continuing to stay in front of them by sharing things in our life, whether it's personal or professional. What are the moves that you're making? What are the things that are happening? What is the information? What are the thoughts that you are having? One of the people I really admire in this space, his name is Mike Alton, and he actually has been doing this really cool series on Facebook where he's talking about this dear influencer and he's giving advice to influencers to help them on this journey. And I just find it so helpful as someone who has influence as well to see his content and learn from these really wonderful stories that he's sharing in the examples to help me be a better influencer to the community that I have built. So you should be doing that too, sharing stories, sharing your experiences and giving value to that audience, that network that you are building. And then finally, when it comes to collaborating, it's how can you work with other brands, other people, and other businesses
businesses so that you are able to maximize your impact there and help them. I love being a guest on other people's podcasts because my unique expertise around video marketing, being a military spouse, being a woman, a CEO, being a mom, it gives me a really diverse and unique experience to give to others so that they can share it with their platform to impact and help them. Being able to collaborate is going to also give you additional credibility because if they find you credible, the person you're collaborating with, their audience will as well and your audience will be like, well, I mean, if they listen to them, I guess obviously I need to listen to them as well. So when we're talking about maximizing the impact of our influence and using it from social contracts. Those are the three things that you really need to focus on. I encourage you to make these daily practices that you do. I have my four touch points that I try to do every day. Try and find someone to be on my podcast and collaborate with. Try to find someone else's podcast to be on. Connect or reconnect with somebody. And four, try and find someone new where I can help their brand or they can help mine. So by spending time doing that every day, I've been able to have fantastic conversations and really expand my social influence and my social reach. Now, all of this sounds like a lot of work. So how are you supposed to actually get the work done? That's where you need to build a team. The first and hardest thing I ever did in my business was hire someone to offload work. This was actually within my first year of my business. Way back in the day, Facebook lets you do this thing called a Facebook landing page. It was very much where it's like when you visited their Facebook page for the first time, you're presented with this landing page and you were told like why you should like this page and we could incentivize them. So it'd be like a coupon or a newsletter you could join or whatever. And you would hit a button to hit like and then like this miniature Facebook website would pop up. Well, these were very time consuming to design and you also had to code them to work. So once I was starting to get more and more business and people interested in it, I actually found someone on Craigslist back when it was much better <laughs> to do that, who I could work with to help me create it. And what I did was I gave him 20% of every sale that I made and he made them. And the amount of time I got back so they could sell more was astronomical and I was hooked. I was like, I will always have a team to help me manage the workload of what I need to do. So when I look at like what my team looks like now, I have a project manager, I have a virtual assistant, I have a social media manager, I have a content creator, I have an editor, I have a YouTube coach, my project manager edits my podcast. You know, I work with different resources and people to help me make sure things are, I have an accountant and a CPA. There are so many things needed in my business to make it work that I have no interest in learning how to do or try creating that time and that value. You and Beyonce do not have the same 24 hours in a day, right? She buys other people's time and you should be doing that too because if you can buy their time, you can maximize what you do with your time. So that if you had one hour that was actually five hours and you could just like make more money, it's gonna be so much better for you. So figure out what are the things bottlenecking your process? What are the things you hate to do? What are the things that you might enjoy or not enjoy but that are taking up a lot of time that you maybe could create a SOP for where you could or, or train someone on how to do it to offload that task for you so that you can do the income earning activities that will maximize your reach. This may require you to spend money you haven't made yet. When I got started here on YouTube, I had to make the very specific investment in an editor so that I could make sure that I was showing up every single week on my YouTube channel so I could continue to give value in return for for the long-term income impact. If I hadn't have had the editor and started off that way, I would not be where I'm at because there were so many things I had to do as a nursing mother, as a military spouse, as a growing entrepreneur, with kind of like in that startup phase. If I hadn't have spent that money, that initial investment, I would have died. Like I would, this would not have happened. So it might require you to invest, even if you are just trying to test out and see if it's the right thing for you to do and this thing has legs. You should always though, be investing a portion of your profits back into your business so that it can do better for you. Now, when we're talking about video, it's really important to know as a CEO, is this something that can make me money? Is this something that can maximize my reach? Well, I have a whole video that you can watch right here where I share with you how I've made almost $200,000 in a year with video in addition to what I do with my agency. You're not gonna miss it. Go watch it right now.